All right, guys, we are here at one of probably seven OSU uh, student gyms, and we are gonna get a workout. This video is all about how you can still do something you love, like the gym or whatever it is, and be a pretty good student. So I have my, my homie, Mihail, right here. Introduce yourself to everyone. How we doing, guys? I'm Mihail Kranisuk. And? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> restart. You know, I'll just cut it. Uh, hey, I'm Mihail. Uh, I'm a D2. We're about to go into our D3 year. And uh, I'm here filming this video with Trevor today. All right, so I got a couple of questions for Mihail before we get into our workout. So Mihail, what is one thing that you love to do outside of being an excellent dental student? So a big thing I like to focus on, and it's something I came into dental school working on, was uh, my fitness journey. And I feel like it's a unique experience because there's always something new you can learn. So I'm constantly watching YouTube videos. I'm in the gym almost every day and I'm trying to learn new stuff about nutrition. So it's just a work in progress that I like to do on the side, kind of one of my hobbies. So how, how, has it been like tough to balance school, like maintaining high GPA classes, working on our hand skills, and uh, still finding time to do uh, kind of like your whole entire gym life? So I think that D1 year was more of an adjustment, just kind of getting used to school. But I think once we got into the swing of things, D2 year, we kind of knew what was going on. So we were able to uh, kind of get our schedules on track and it kind of just depends on how your schedule works out and like how you choose to do things. So if you figure out a time and place for your hobby, it uh, becomes a little bit easier to put that into a dental school routine. All right, well, uh, last question is, how do you think, run, like run us through a typical uh, like hourly schedule of how you um, get your gym time in and uh, do well in school? So I wake up at 5 a.m. and I have my Jeez. morning cup of coffee. I relax a little bit. I get mentally ready for the gym. I'm in the gym by six o'clock and then my hour, my workouts run anywhere from six to seven, 7.30. And then I come home, eat a big breakfast and get ready to run over to class. And then on days we have earlier classes, I usually try to hit the gym in a break or right after class just to get out of the way. So I think it works best when uh, I get the gym done before I do any school work so that way it's out of mind, out of sight, and I can focus on school for the rest of the day. So this is actually our third exercise. I didn't film the close grip bench. We're going to be doing weighted pull-ups. These are my favorite, so again, don't judge me. Here we go. All right, that wraps up that gym session. Huge shout out to Mihail. I know it's pretty annoying to uh, work out and film at the same time, so I appreciate him and uh, his input that he gave to you guys. I stand behind and echo every, uh, every word that he says about trying to kind of get your schedule down, um, make sure you do the things you like in life, which for both of us, honestly, is uh, eating right, the gym, um, exercising, and also making school a priority. Even though school is the number one priority, still absolutely make time for the things that you guys love, which can be anything that you want. It doesn't have to be the gym. It could be riding your bike. It could be something outside. Um, it could be something inside, whether that's like an instrument or um, whatever hobby that you have. Don't lose that hobby because you, you'll you feel, school will make you feel like you're honestly like losing a huge part of yourself. And I don't think uh, dental school has to be like that. All of you guys are that are either in school right now or getting ready to start dental school, I think that's a huge tip that I can offer you guys is Dental school is hard, but not so hard that you have to completely sacrifice everything in life that makes you happy. And I think if you do sacrifice something that's so important to you, you're gonna be miserable, which in turn is gonna make you not perform well um, in the classroom. So that's a big recommendation that I have for all of you guys. All right, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I am back in my bed 
currently studying slash watching the masters. I'm studying some farm right now. Our last test starts out going over some antiviral uh, drugs and they're actually gonna make us memorize drug names which they haven't up to this point in the semester. Not excited about that. Anyways, I hope you guys found um, this video helpful talking with uh, me and Mihail about how we specifically kind of keep them up the balance between uh, life and school, specifically life or school and gym because that's what we love to do. Again, always got to find the balance. These shirts are still on the website, so go check them out. There's a link down in the description. They are my absolute favorite for the gym especially, and they're super soft, super comfortable, so you can wear them wherever. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. And this is how someone who actually lifts finishes up the workout. Watching some Netflix at the same time. Killed two birds with one stone. That's nice. What are you doing right here? Um, I some was doing a of... stair stepper, but my heart rate wasn't high enough. Now we're doing some arc training. Wow, that's dedication. You gotta train your heart, it's the most important muscle. Oh, words of wisdom. <laughs>